Shar Allah Parak Yud Zion. And what we talked about so far was that the union of Tshuva is a realignment of Nefesh Ruach Neshama. Nefesh being here, Neshama being there, Ruach being in between, and that um, we're realigning because when you realign, so then Ba'ipach Ba'ap of Nishmas Chaim, so the breath of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Nishmas Chaim of HaKadosh Baruch Hu actually reaches us. No holes in the pipe, no misalignment to the pipe, Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama, it's like, you know, somebody like in the Nefesh Chaim's Mashal, Chazal's Mashal, or somebody blowing glass, could you imagine that the, uh, you know, that he's blowing um, the glass, but the, 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 the material that he's using to make the glass out of is somewhere else, you know. So tshuva is you put the sand, or the, right there at the end of the pipe, in Vayipach Ba'ap of Nishmas Chaim. So that's all, and then we spoke about the Sheresh HaNeshama, and what that means, we learned about Sukkim and Daniel, and how he interpreted the Buchanetzer's dream, etc. And uh, so that was all easy, and today, the Nefesh um, starts speaking about Inyanum of Kabbalah. Which in a way I feel like skipping, but in another, in another way I feel like we shouldn't skip because if he's saying it, he's saying it for a reason. He knew he was writing it for people like us, yeah. So, so now that um, we understand that Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama needs to be lined up, so let's understand it on a more sophisticated level. Veha Inyan. And Parak Yitzayin. Veha Inyan. Ki Adua. Lesko Lefi Hasagoseinu, what we can understand here. Um, at least um, um, diagrammatically speaking. You know, just at least from a... I apologize for interrupting. We had uh, some you want to try to explain how so. Yeah, we'll get to that. It's going to be easier. The Indian. Ki adua beseder ishtel shlus haylamas. That there's, it's known that whenever he says it's known, it means we don't know it. Ki adua ki beseder ishtel shlus haylamas. Shabachina hal yaina shabachal oilam miskasher ima bachina atachtoina shal oilam sha'alaf. Okay, so this is where he speaks Kabbalistically that there are, I'll try to explain it as best I can, as best I understand, that there is four worlds, Atsilus Bria, Yitzira, Asiya. Um, Atsilus, as I've said many times, is closest to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Asiya is our world, and in between there's a world of Bria and Yitzira, so let's understand it and let's look at it as um, Hashem decides to create the world. Every minute this happens. Uh, Hashem create, decides to create the world. The world is um, in the world of Atsilus. The Bria starts to take some form. Yitzira starts to take more form. And Asiya, it's the world that we know and the world that we live in. So um, when Hashem is creating the world, He's always <coughs> creating it. Um, Atsilus, Bria, Yitzira, Asiya. Now we can um, just live in the world of Asiya and forget about all this. But chaval, because if you live in the world of Asiya and you forget about it all, so then you don't understand, like you're an end user. So, you know, every everything that you understand deeper, how the mechanism works, so you can get a better use out of the thing itself once you understand what's really happening over here. So then you, you don't need to be only an end user. We could have a asaga as to how the whole thing happens. I don't know, we're not used to that really, because, you know, you use a computer, you don't need to know how it works really, right? But if you do, you get much more out of it. Or a better example is your body. Like, you know, you could just live, physically I'm talking about, your health. You could just live. Or if you understand how, as an example, how uh, nutrition fuels the body. And, you know, I always, I'm thinking about this recently, watch, you know, watch Betty Godolim eat. You know, and it, it's, it's a question of how do I fuel my body? It's not a question of what I like, or I like this recipe, I like that recipe. It's 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 um, not that I'm not talking about doesn't taste good, but you see different gedolim eat. They have different like what does it take to make their oil um work? You know you know the the uh, the Lubavitcher Rebbe Olav So um, Yadua that um, all he ate all day from the time he woke up until dinner time 
was uh, Smirling 79% chocolate and, and hot milk. <laughs> so it means to say, 79% uh, is a very little sugar in it, and it's chocolate. Chocolate is maximum is a healthy thing, grows from a, you know, grows from the ground. It's healthy, so um, and it has a lot of mylos to it, and milk is milk, so the calcium. So I mean, obviously he worked out. I'm not giving a prescription here, nutritional information. I'm just saying it's an interesting thing that that he worked out. Like, what does he need to get through a very hectic day? You know, for for him to be how do you be a rebbe? So like, you know, it's hectic. You know, he's he's dealing with. Uh, with uh, the millions of people, thousands of people, and millions of dollars, and building moistness all over the world, you know, so it's all about that smirling 79% and uh, hot milk somehow. Then he went home, had dinner with his wife. What was he going to do? Um, hmm? He should do it. What did he have for dinner? What did he have for dinner? <laughs> You know, you know, Bob Shirebi, who, who I knew, so to speak, was uh, you know was a very private person, so nobody ever knew exactly what was going on and anything. But uh, what was known from the secretaries is that he never had any food, and it was always you know the Smirling seventy nine. And I was talking to the guy, Smirling, who's um, the guy who lives in Switzerland. His son is a rub in Paraguay, Babacher. So um, Smirling's a Babacher. So uh, in Switzerland, that's he, that this guy felt he had the Swiss, um, Mr. Smirling in Switzerland. To send the Rebbe all of his chocolate. He said it was a lot of chocolate. <laughs> a lot of chocolate. Like it, like it was a big undertaking, you know, to, to send the Rebbe his chocolate. It was the only one he ate, by the way, Shmurli. Me too. Um, so, uh, what am I saying? I'm saying is that you can live in the world of Asiya, but to understand how things work and how you fuel it is going to make a difference in your and your health, and your car, and your computer, and also in the world of Rufnius, um, how how did, the thing, how did everything get to where it got to? So we know everything starts, and this is what I want to go into a little bit, Lufi Hasa Gaseinu, that um, where everything starts in the world of Atsilus, it goes to the world of Bria, it goes to the world of Yitzhak, it goes to the world of Asiya. And... Um, there's also an uh, Indian by uh, Rabbi Yitzhak, not compared to computers, the body, to, to know Hashem, like to know the, to know the. Stop to know, the Adatas Hashem I'm sure there's an Indian, but I'm talking about even you know Shalei Lishma. You know, just uh, the Adatas Hashem. Yeah. So, so now he's saying a bigger finish that besides for the fact that everything comes in for a process of four, Atzilu Esprio Yisir Asiya. Um, what's important to know is that the the bottom, the top of every world is connected to the bottom of the world before. It's, it's all connected. So think of it as a, a pipe. There's an interface. So the world of Asiya that we live in is connected on the top to the world of Yitzira. The world of Yitzira is connected on top to Bria, and Bria is connected to Atsira. So far, so good, right? So let's look at the word. That if you work downwards, the, the, it's connecting from the goes and starts from the top from Hashem, let's say, and works its way down, connects to the next world, and works its way down, connects to the next world. And if it's not connected, the wind escapes. So like it's interesting to hear that the Vayipach Ba'ap of Nishmas Chaim goes all the way through this. Means everything starts from the top, and the nafich itself, the vayibach itself, goes through all of these elamas. That's where I'm getting my life from. And now our job, don't forget, is to to align all this, and that's what he calls tshuva. Vayin zayar vayikra yudam beis. This is mafurshin zayar. Easy, right? That all of the worlds that we're talking about, four worlds there are, they're miskashin da bada. One is miskashu, they're connected. See, the importance of them being connected is that there's access and there's relevance that there's to, to a higher world and you can keep on going. Kahai shall shellis these kasher da bada, just like a chain. These kasher dub it's 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 connected one piece one link to the next. V'chayadua b'chisvei arizal, and then the arizal takes it a step further, explaining the zayar. 
and he says shechitzonius malchus shall call oilam of partsuf nasef nimius keser lo oilam of partsuf shebetachtov. You know, you know. Um, I just want to tell you something that um, when I wrote the book Spheros, so um, so um, oh, I, I gave it originally to the publisher, Judaica Press. So um, so he said, you know, we don't publish Kabbalah. So it's not Kabbalah. It's not Kabbalah. It's Spheros. So um, he says to me, it sounds like Kabbalah. Spheros, Kabbalah. Like, you know, that's your Spheros right away. Kabbalah. We don't do Kabbalah. So it's supposed to say for you know, so we're going back and forth. It is Kabbalah. It's not Kabbalah. So their posek there is Rav David Feinstein, Shalita. Um, so we, so we, Rav David Feinstein, he said, come back on Tuesday. Rav David Feinstein comes here every Tuesday at 1 o'clock. So I came back to the, on Tuesday, and um, Rav David Feinstein came in. He got, Every Tuesday he goes, has coffee at Judaica Press, <laughs> and he poskins all their shilas for the week. So I came. And the, the question was, is this Kabbalah or not Kabbalah? So he looks at it, and he says, Spheris is not Kabbalah. <laughs> Spheris is Musser. <laughs> so, so I said, so what's Kabbalah? <laughs> okay. So he says, Partsufim is Kabbalah. <laughs> so I have a sock from a gadol. <laughs> Spheris is not Kabbalah, and Partsufim is Kabbalah. So even though he talks here about Spheris and Partsufim, I'm just going to talk about Spheris. I'm not going to talk about Partsufim. <laughs> you tell us what Partsufim is. Partsufim is the, I believe, I'll, I'll explain to you. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it, but I'll explain to you. So um, there's ten spheros. There's four elamos. I just want to tell you how the whole thing works. The diagram. Um, there's ten spheros. There's five. There, uh, there's four elamos. Every oilum has ten spheros in it. And there's five parts of them. So five parts of another system, right? So five parts of them connected yud k vav k and the kutzah shul yud. That's five parts of them. Let's for for the sake of understanding this right now. Um, uh, let's say it's the inter it's the interlock between the elamos, partial, right? the, the the interlock, the outside, the chutzonius. Interface. Interface. Thank you. Of each of the spheres. Also. Right. They're called. Just so you know, this is the Kabbalah. We're not going to learn. They're, the five parts of them are called Abba, Ima. Zeranpim, Nukva, Arichampim, Abba, Iba, Zeranpim, Nukva. And as much as we can't understand it, what? Oh. Arichampim, way up on top, Abba, Ima, Zeranpim, and Nukva. Nukva obviously is the Makabal of it all, and that's where. Hits ground. Um, let me explain something, Maridik, which the, the going makes it so simple for us because all that, what does that mean? Ah, but he, but um, and, and I just want to explain this. But, um, but what we're learning so far is that every world that we're in, we're in the world of Asiya, obviously, you can connect to the world of Yitzhira. And the more technical, is that the top of the world that we live in, the top, which is called of the ten spheres, the top of the ten spheres, which is called Kesser, 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 the Balchus, the Baal. Kesser, so Kesser connects to the Malchus of Yitzir. Okay, The math is easy, the diagram is easy, I can, I can draw it up for you, but it's very simple, right? So, but the, the guy, um, the Vilna Gaon, who was really not known for it, I don't think, but was really the Makubal of the generation. I think he was really the, the Makubal, the Chaim Lajan Rebbe. So he explains, you can see the system very easily. It says the Vilna Gaon, he says this in Tikkun Zayar and Vayikra at the beginning, right at the beginning of Vayikra, first page. Um, he says that you can see this with um, every time you talk. Because every time you talk, what, there's a process that goes on. We don't think about it, unfortunately. We just talk. <coughs> blah 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 blah. <laughs> Let's talk. But there's a there's a there's a system here that goes on. I mean, clearly, when you see some people talking, it's not part of any system. <laughs> They're just talking. <laughs> you know, some people just talk. Um, but the way the way the system works, it's just very simple. The way the system works, even on a, um, on a cognitive level, 
is that the first thing that happens is there's a rutzo. Rutzo. Um, the second thing that happens is that the Ratzon turns into a machshava. Think about talking. I really want to say something here. Let me think about this. That's the order. A feeling something, let's call it a feeling something. Ratzon. I want something to be done. I must speak up. So what am I speaking? Uh, first, it goes into the category of machshava. From machshava, it goes to the category of hirhur. From here where it goes to the category of coil, and from the coal, it goes to the category of deep work. You should really write this down because it's important yeah, information. Sure you can do that again. Oh. This, this is all within the looking of what? Those are the parts of it, the going says. Like every time you talk, let's say it's a muscle, but it's also true. It happens to be a true muscle. So what happens is it starts off with here's your fry. Rotsum, Machshava. Irhur, Kol, Tibur. Very good. Eitan Yehuda. So by the time something goes, comes, those are, those, he calls those the parts of him. So it doesn't make a difference. It's a confusing word. It could be, like, it's not a word for us. But what, what is clear is everybody understands that at least what's supposed to happen when you talk. We wouldn't talk so much if we went through this process every time. So you're starting with Rodson, he gets to Machshava. It goes to Hirhur, and then it goes to Dibur, a Kol rather. Remember, we learned uh, a couple weeks ago, we were learning by Matan Tyro. Kol Lashem Bakoya, Kol Lashem Bahadur. Kol is what the Nevoa, what the Nevoim, right? Moshe Yedaber Velikim Yananu the Kol. So there's Dibur and there's Kol. The Yar is Hakolos. So Kol is not Dibur. You don't see Dibur, you can see Kol. So. Hmm? Machshav and, and Hira. Very good. Thank you. Very good. First of all, first of all, Mikan, the <coughs> Machshav and Hira is not the same thing. <laughs> That's the first thing. We, we put in the same thing. Machshav uh, and Hira. What is Hira? Hira means, well, that's what we got to explain, but <laughs> Hira means when you're thinking and Machshav means when you're thinking. It's asking, what's the difference between Machshav and Hira? Ratzon, we understand. Again, I just want to make it Ratzayim, Machshava Hirur, Kol, Dibur That's what happens, supposed to happen Every time I say a word This is counterintuitive Usually the vernacular is that Hirur is just a thought And then Machshava is a thing So let's straighten this out because it's Mamash Ra See, look look at this The the Gemara says Hirur Avera Koshim Avera The Gemara also says Machshava ra leimet starf lemaisa. It's the chastira. <laughs> Marsha asks is a steer. I don't know anything the Marsha didn't know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Marsha says a steer. Hirur avera kashem avera. It's worse to have hirur avera. Why that is is a question unto itself. Kashem avera. Who's actually doing the avera? Okay, you can understand because uh, you do something, you could be misasik and do it. You can just do something without thinking. For instance, Bahal Shabbos, I'll think, like, turn on the light. You know, oh my gosh, what did I do? Turn on the light. Masasik. You can kill somebody, Masasik. Shoike, whatever. Masasik. Masasik, Bahalovim, Baharayas. Such a thing as even Baharayas, you can be Masasik. Masasik, Bahalovim, Baharayas. Possible. But here, Huri Avera, Kashem Avera. So why then, if here, Huri Avera, worse than Avera, why then is it that Machshava Ra? I'm thinking to do an Avera, and I never actually do the Avera. I'm thinking, I wake up in the morning and I'm thinking, I think I'm going to kill this guy. <laughs> right? I'm really going to kill him. You know, you know how they, they, um, you know, they train you in rabbi school, you know, very like, like psychology 101 minus 50, <laughs> you know, that's the training. But, uh, you know, like the cloud is like somebody comes to you and says, uh, you know, I want to commit suicide. So the correct, the correct thing to say or ask at that point is, do you have a plan? Because you want to get from machshava to hero. Uh, machshava, rabbis, machshava is belavish. 
could be it crosses our mind every day. <laughs> Not me, Baruch Hashem, but uh, there are people that are, are suicidal. Machshava. Machshava ra loy mitztar of lomaisa. Hirhurim is more articulate. So what, what the answer to your question is, uh, let's work with it for a second because it's so important, Mama, so important, that the, um, that machshava is, if I'm thinking a thought and I don't yet put words to those thoughts even in my, my mind, I don't yet give it form even in my mind, pass it like a thought. Um, so that's machshava. Once I, so let's, let's use my example, I have a plan, even and speak it out. So I, I'm, I'm already in a bechin of hero. I already gave it some level of gashmius, <coughs> hero. So in, in um, I, I'll give you a halachic example. Um, the halach is that hamaharer bedivrei tayr bim kafais or bim avuais ham tunafais aser aser to be maharer and divrei tayr in a place which is shmutz, place which is dirty, bathroom, <laughs> dirty alley, something. Not allowed to be mahar but you retire. <coughs> Say the paiskim, machshava mutter. Now, um, <laughs> it's very difficult for us, halacha lamaisa, to have machshava without hearer. <coughs> because I don't know what machshava is, but there is two steps here. And there, there's two steps in the in the process. One step is that I'm thinking divrei tira. See, it's always good if you're thinking divrei tira to bring it through the system and actually speak it out, because when you speak it out, it, you're, you've brought it into the world of Gashmias, and you see whether it makes any sense or not, whether it's a cable that holds water and it doesn't hold water. Look. Dibur. Huh? Dibur is the Oh, So Dibur is the, is the oh. furthest along, it already mamish, but, but right before Dibur, there's hear her. So hear her, if you would, if you would want to, um, See, the Gemara has a shayla like this. The Gemara says halachically, hear her kadibur dummy, or hear her lav kadibur dummy. Well, that'd be many things. Hear her kadibur dummy. If you have to, somebody, if you have to communicate something to somebody else, obviously it's not kadibur. But there are many cases where the Gemara wants to know um, he was here. Hear her b'tshuva. There it talks about hear her b'tshuva. Doesn't talk about machshava b'tshuva. Everybody has machshava b'tshuva. Think about it. But uh, hear her is when you have a plan. So Dilma hear her b'tshuva. You don't do vidui vidui. He needs dibur. But Dilma hear her b'tshuva. Hear her is not machshava. It's a step further than machshava. Hear her tshuva is not like you say a fleeting thought. That's machshava. So hear her is simply when I'm already formulating details. Details, yeah, and a plan and even words. So it's like this: if I walk into um, a makom etunaf. And my machshava is kulay tayra. I'm imagining, what, you know, like the chazanish, the chavetz chaim, the chaim brisker. What else did they think about? What, when, when, what else did they think? It was machshava. <laughs> so, but but here or to actually articulate in your mind, that's already here. Again, I don't know la halacha kachki balti mira side that we don't know how to be machal between machshava and here. Right. We don't know how to do machshava without here. That's so yeah. bina and kachma bina das. Don't, don't, don't confuse us, please. In other words, Chachma bin Das is part of the ten spheres. So the ten spheres, but I'm, I'm, let, let's learn the Goyen for a second. So, so the Goyen is saying that we can see the five parts of him in, in every time we, we talk, or we should see the five parts of him every time we talk. Ratzon, Achshava, Hirhur, Kohel, Dibur. Mars Shaila, here or Kadibor or not here or Kadibor. Lagabe, when the Torah is Machai, a, a Dibor does hear her work. Machshava Kadibor for sure not. Machshava Kadibor is for sure not true. Why does it start with Ratzon? Ratzon sounds like something much more like already engaging. Like a, I want something because I thought about it, I hear about it. Or like, where Don't you think it's at the end, you mean? It sounds like it should be somewhere in the middle. Before so we learned, if you recall, that, that when we learned Timer Devara, that Ratzang is Kesa. So it means to say that it's it's not true, what you're saying. In other words, at the end, and it's so significant that it's not true, because at the end, Ein Dovroi Meg Bibnei Ratzang. By Ratzang is what starts the whole thing. Once you start that process going, it's like very, very difficult to stop. 
that's why, like, you know, let's say the process of Dibur. So the process of Dibur, I went through Ratzon, I went through Machshava, I went through Hirur, and now it's about to come out of my mouth, and it's Lashon Hara. So it says the guy, Chola Choysem Pi, you know, it's already engaged, it's already coming, go stop it now. You know, it's already like way down the tube with a lot of pressure and a lot of weight. You know, it's 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 there already. Go stop it now. If you can do that, says the guy, a fantastic amount of strength. But the Ratzon, Chazal tells, the Ratzon is where it all begins. Don't don't let's not fool ourselves to think that I've developed a Ratzon. I have a Ratzon, and if you really want to influence somebody, it's not about influencing their Machshav or their hearer. Their debor say this, don't say that. It's the wrong thing. It's not going to work educationally. You have to really deal with the rutsin. You are what you want. Uh, it's the rutsin. If you can access the rutsin of yourself or another person, then you can make some really uh, fundamental changes. See, let me let me um, let me just explain a couple of things. I take it as a muscle, but also becomes clear according to what we're learning here. Um, the, the Gemara says, "Gracious bar elokim." Of that. Gracious Bar Elohim. Ratzah Kodesh Baruch Hu. Right? Livrai as a Oilam the Midas Hadin. Rosh Ein Oilam Miskayim Shitef Mimoy Midas Harachim. So he starts off with Midas Hadin. He goes to Midas Harachim. And everybody, all the Mepharshim on the block, they want to know what's the Kodesh Baruch first this way, first the thought that Shitef way. Shitef or Hikdim? Hmm? Is it Shitef or Hikdim? Shitef. Shitev, you might be just around. That's lost. Hmm? Shitev. What's your other choice? Hikdim. No. Shitev. There's a combination. Mm -hmm. The, the, the shot is that Ratza, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Liverse Island, the Ratza in Hashem is Midas Hadin. The um, Machshava of Hashem is Midas Hadin, all of a machshav. So we get to all of machshav. The actual articulation of the world, let's call it the Hirhur, the Kol, the Dibur, the Lamaisa, the world of Asiya. So there already he puts him Rachmim Rosh Eino Elam Miskayim. This is not going to work. So the change took place, Kibiyachal. See, all the first ones say, was the Tajbarach thinking to wait, can he make up his mind? But it's it's different parts of the Kivyachal, the mind of a Baruch Hu, or the process of a Baruch Hu. So the Ratzain is one thing, and the articulation is another thing, which comes from Rachmanus. But the actual so you know so the the, the Swarm say or Tzadik and Pritzadik, um, gracious others say that the the, the fact that a Baruch Hu wanted to create the world with Midas Din should not be lost on us, because even though that's Tachlos, that's not the way the way it works. But the fact of the matter is that is the Ratzon Hashem. That is the Ratzon Hashem. So, so therefore, Yaakov Avinu, um, what does Yaakov Avinu say? The year Hashem li lelekim. Yaakov Avinu says Hashem is, the, is already the articulated. The uh, you know the Rachamim already has the Rachamim. In it, but Yaakov you know, took upon himself. Midas Hadin. Why? Why did he do that for him? Was a masochist? Uh, right. Well, because that's really the Ratzon Hashem. Now, when you come to a Madrega where he is, mm -hmm. that's just want a freebie. It's a he, he wants to really do the Ratzon Hashem. The Ratzon Hashem. So here, here's um, Hashem's. So Hashem, let's tell him, I'll tear out to Yaakov. You know, as we sing every month of Shabbos, I'll tear it on the Yaakov. We should sing. So that's really the, the, the uh, Yaakov Avinu, Shema Yigroim Achet. He was always worried about Shema Yigroim Achet. See, I'll tell you uh, Hashem's lesson in Kabbalah to Moshe Rabbeinu, famous Gemara. Moshe Rabbeinu goes up to Shemayim, by her singer, goes up to Shemayim, and he says, sees Rabbi Akiva dying al Kiddush Hashem, being tortured to death al Kiddush Hashem. And Moshe Rabbeinu says, this is how beautiful this Gemara is. Moshe Rabbeinu says, Zutaira Suschara. And uh, this is what this Rabbi Akiva gets for a whole life of Zutaira. 
And Kodesh Baruch Hu says, Shtok, Shtok, Dibur, Shtok. Kachola b'machshava lefanai. That's beautiful or not? <laughs> Shout in the Gemara. You're Moshe Rabbeinu talking about a madrega of Dibur. Shtok. <laughs> this is not the normal articulation of the way the world works. Zu Tyra v'zu Schara, where you hold it. So let me tell you something. Kach Allah b'machshava. What's the machshava? Sheratz HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The Ratzin and the machshava of HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Libra Isa Elam b'midas hadid. And Akiva, which name Akiva comes from Yaakov, yeah? Same name. It's the Aramaic version of Yaakov. Thank you, Akiva. Akiva, Rabbi Akiva, the reason also the Gilgal of Yaakov, it was Makabal on himself, the Midas Hadin. So, Kodesh Baruch Hu says to Moshe Rabbeinu, where are you holding? Shtok. First thing is, stop with the deep one. You're talking, you know, very, <laughs> just, uh, everything's relative. So, Kodesh Baruch Hu talking to Moshe. Talk about very low Madrega, Moshe. Shtok. Let's work up. Um, the the, the Machshava of HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Midas Hadin. So, so Rabbi Kiva was happy to do Midas Hadin, happy to do the Ratzon Hashem, like his four Gilgal Yaakov Avinu. Even for Midas Hadin, you can ask Zotar uh, Abba I mean, like, the same question is asked. Well, it, may, it makes sense to me. To me, it's logical, although I don't, uh, I'm not holding there. <laughs> but it's logical to say that ultimately, what does it mean? Kodesh Baruch Hu wanted to create the world with Midas Hadin. What does it mean? It means, right, everything should be right. Everything should be done correctly. So say, there was a chet. There was chet. But, but, but uh, Rabbi Kiva wasn't, uh, what was Yaakov Avinu worried about? Shema Yigra Machet. David HaMelech wrote the whole Tillam. He was worried about the chet of Basheva. That's what he was worried about. The whole Tillam was written about Basheva. By the way, what's, what's, so, so the, if there was anything wrong, if Yaakov Avinu did a chet, Akiva did a chet, and, and the Kubalim are very busy with exactly what he was worried for, but let's say, um, all right, I don't get involved in the chet of Akiva, but there, maybe it was the chet of the door. But the, 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 the point is, you know, he, he is surrounded by a lot of uh, tsars, you know, like not just his Kiddush Hashem, but you know, the, he lost Chavdal and Elav Talmidim. He he preferred to live. I don't know if it's for us to go into his midas adim. But Zutar Zuschar Moshe Rabbeinu was saying, what happened to the whole process of overlooking Chatoim and and Shitevi Moy Mitzvah Zrachim? So when we're talking about Zuschar, we're talking about the Kodesh Baruch Hat Rachmanus. So he said that that if if you're living on the actual world, so Kach Olav Machshava Lefanai. Stoik. So he wasn't telling him, Moshe, shut up. It was Stoik. Leave the place of Dibor, even the place of Hirur, because those are all articulation. Well, move to the place of Machshava. Uh, I, I hope I'm explaining this well. <coughs> you see, the, the, um, the Sefer Ayatzira <coughs> begins that a Kodesh Baruch Hu created the world with Isaias. There's a, a Rav Kook. Allah Shalom uh, starts his uh, his Sefer Ayrois with this uh, quote from the Sefer Yitzira that Kol Olam Nivra Ba'Oisiyos. Reb Tzadik begins uh, two of his farm with this idea of Kol Olam Nivra Ba'Oisiyos. What does it mean? Oisiyos? Why mm-hmm. should the world be? You know. So they have these uh, paintings of letters flying all over the world and coming to flying all over from the Shemayim, and turning into uh, letters, and turning into worlds. But the, the shot is that um, if you go through the, the cognitive process of Ratzon, you don't have a world yet with Ratzon. Ratzon Hashem. Machshava, um, you don't have a world. Where does the world actually begin? The world actually begins at the beginning of Hirur when this starts to take shape. <coughs> and an ois is the very first piece of Gashmias that there is in this world because an ice, and you know we're learning on Friday night here that the, that the, even the oiseus themselves are divided into many oiseus and Aleph is three oiseus, right? Uh, yud, yud, bab. So the the is not doesn't have a meaning yet. Um, 
don't think there's any one in English. There's one letter. I see us in Hebrew. There's no letter. One letter. I. Uh huh. I. I what? Mm -hmm. I is a one letter word. In Hebrew. In Hebrew? In, no, in English. So, uh, yeah, A. <laughs> There's many, but in, in Hebrew, and it's interesting. In, in Hebrew, they're not one, not any one letter. So the 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 ice when we say that when the Sefer Yitzir says that the the world was nivra me ice ice, it means the ice is the first articulation of the first articulation. Ice is not doesn't have any meaning. An ice doesn't add up to a word, it doesn't add up certainly to a sentence, or not to a paragraph, not to a machshava, right? There's nothing articulate about it, but it's the first articulation of the world is HaKadosh Baruch Hu taking his Ratzin, going to machshava, going through Hirur, and then Kol, and, and, and that's where Nebua comes, accessing these Oiseus. So again, I'm not explaining any of this for some reason I don't understand it. But I don't understand that on some level you can understand it. But I'm just understanding the chart, the, the the how the whole thing how the whole thing works. Now it means to say, let's just let's end with this and then we'll continue. It, it means to say, and that's why I'm going to get to the, the Hasaga also. That it means to say that what what's what would be very smart is okay. Rabbi Akiva went all the way up to the world of Machshav. Mashma more than Moshe Rabbeinu. Mashma more than Moshe Rabbeinu. Even though he was after Moshe Rabbeinu, but it was after, more than Moshe Rabbeinu. But, but he went all the way to Kach, all of Machshava Tzgila. Hey, is it Machshava? The Machshava of Ratzel Libra Esau Elam Amidus That Machshava, that's the Machshava of a Kaddish Baruch Before he was Meshat Evimai Midas Harachimim. So, um, but a little bit we can say this. We can say, okay, this is what we're supposed to be doing. And you know that's this is the rules, or we can say to ourselves, which is a very good thing to do, I think. I think, like, like let's think for a second, like what's really we're going all the way up to the top. What's really the rutz and Hashem? I'm not suggesting anybody breaks any rules, but but I'm saying what really is the rutz and Hashem? Because I'm saying I mean there's such a thing as an averi lishma. So it's an averi lishma where you're doing the rutz, but you're not doing the lois. That's what it, that's what it means, an averi lishma. But um, but I'm, I'm not even saying that. I'm not saying to do an Averi Lishma. I'm saying sometimes, you know, like uh, like I was a that sometimes, you know, you, you, you're doing something, it's a halacha, and, and it just doesn't make any sense. It can't be right. How could this be what Hashem wants? So, in a chanam, Yeah, if, if, if you come up with a din which doesn't feel right, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, but this is really what a posik is supposed to be able to do. Is to say, like, it has to. If if, it, if it's acrobatics, it's usually wrong. You can usually find the toes in the halach. It can't be. It can't be such a thing. I mean, it could be, but it's not not likely that it's such a thing. It, it has to somehow line up with the rutz and Hashem. If we know the rutz and Hashem, so um, you know, like that's it's it's a smart thing. But but I'm not even talking about. Let's not even a halacha, but just stop in our regular everyday hanaga. So you know, like the idea is to get hooked up. To the, you know, the cart should be hooked up to the to the horse over here. So, like, you know, when you're hooked up, so you're hooked up. That that my asiya is hooked up to the world of Yitzira, which is hooked up to the world of Bria, which is hooked up to the world of Atzilus. So there's the big, the big hookup. So you have the the continuity of the whole of the whole process. And now you're getting a, a, a healthy a healthy lifestyle and a healthy life. So. Um, <laughs> Nachshachayim explains it, so I don't know if he already, I want to explain it, but that's how the whole system works. Can you repeat the math again? In Sphiris, what is the four, the parts, or what do you want to know? I want to write it down. How does that all work? I'll send you a chart. Let me send it. Let me send a chart. Because um, in the guns, uh, I, I took a picture of a chart. The guns analogy, it sounds so much more accessible. In guns? It, it sounds much more accessible, like, uh, like to, like to be able to affect our own ratzon seems much more accessible than talking about the park supreme in a very broad level. So is there an avoda in the ratzon? Oh, that's a very good point. I think we need to talk about I think that's what he talks about, actually. Let me just get this. Get the picture. Just... Yeah. 